Hello and welcome back to another episode of Badminton Weekly with me, Jasmine Lim. After almost a month-long break, I'm absolutely delighted to have the HSBC BWF World Tour back in full swing. The Yonex German Open will kick off this European leg of the tour, with the all-important French Open and all-England Open Badminton Championships will also take place. Joining us to preview the action-packed events is none other than former world number one and badminton legend Peter Gator. Welcome back to the show, Peter. Thank you so much. A pleasure. Now, before we dive further into the events, let's first discuss the importance of where we're at in the race to Paris. It is the final few months of the Olympics qualifications. Some players can be sure of their spots in the games, while some are still chasing for every single point. Now, you've gone through these intense periods yourself as a player. What do you think is the best plan going forward? Well, I think um, I would probably divide the players into two categories. So you have the players that are, uh, and for some time, has been quite sure about the qualification, like the very top players uh, in each category. Now they know that uh, they are going to the last part of the preparations towards the Olympics. No doubt that all of them want to add percentages to their game in different areas. And they are testing this off in, in, in the events to come. Uh, I'm sure about that. And the big part as well is, is of course, the handling of, of injuries. Because as we see, there, there are so many tournaments uh, in this Olympic period, more than ever. So, so it's really uh, it's a tricky balance for the players to, to play the tournaments and at the same time take care of their, of their body and, and avoiding injuries. And then the category number two, you have the players that are fighting uh, for the last spots uh, towards qualifying. And that's a different uh, that's a different perspective coming into these tournaments. And uh, they are they are looking for every inch uh, they can possibly take. Uh, they are looking towards the draws. They are looking towards other players getting injured. Uh, you know, all of these things will matter for these uh, these coming tournaments for sure. Like you said, a lot of things to look out for in this busy European leg with players hoping to boost their confidence and playing level. But who do you think needs it the most here? Who do you think needs a good run of games in these coming few months? There's a lot of players you can, you can point out in different categories uh, that are looking. Uh, I think yeah, if we take the men's singles, um, I, I, I think that we need to see from uh, some of the Chinese players, uh, Li Xifeng, uh, this is, he's, he's, you know, we all know that he's up there. We all know that he's, uh, even though he's still a young player, he's, he's got the potential to do something big. But it's also been a bit uh, up and down for the past, uh, the past period. Uh, I, I think he's a player that the Chinese would love to go into the, the top four, uh, and, and, and also because of seedings, etc. Um, and of course, it's, it's also the All England coming up. Uh, no matter if we are in an Olympic period. The All England will, all, will always be a high priority for all players. And we will see the kind of closest big event towards the Olympics and to, to see how the players are handling that and where they are at present. Uh, so I think that the men's singles is definitely interesting to see where, where the top guys are uh, towards each other. Also because we haven't seen Victor for some time. And uh, to see him up against uh, players like uh, Li Xifeng and, and, and also Anders. Uh, again, Anders had a, an incredible run for, of tournaments. So it would be nice to see him at All England against uh, some of, uh, of these top guys. Uh, that would be a, a great experience, I think. Ladies singles, we, some of the top, uh, top women, they are, have been struggling a bit with injuries uh, because of a crazy, crazy program for them, I think. Uh, and then you have Carolina Marin, which uh, in my mind, uh, we will see her. Uh, she knows what she's doing. She's been, she's been trying uh, this, this quite, kind of uh, run up towards the big ones so many times. She knows it's about Olympics. Uh, we're going to see her you know, adding on percentages as, as we get closer. I have no doubt about that. It, it will take something special to, to beat these, uh, these women. Uh, no doubt about that. You have uh, Tai Su Ying. In the, in the background, you have other players that are also, you know, kind of peeking forward that on a good day, they can do damage. So, and for me, it's just an incredibly exciting field of uh, women's singles. A 
Another player who will be making her return to the tour is PV Sindhu. The two-time Olympic medalist was part of the Indian's women's team who created history, winning the Badminton Asia Team Championship title. Now that must have been a tremendous confidence booster. And now training under a new coach, Indonesia's Argos Dwi Santoso, how do you think she'll fare in her return to the tour? First of all, I just think it's, it's really nice to see her back and uh, see the, her in a more stable period. But for me, it's still we're gonna. She's gonna be tested in these tournaments to come because it, 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 she will have battles against some of the the top the top ten in doing these uh, these weeks. She's at the later stage of her career, and she's she's trying to find uh, kind of the uh, the balance and the inspiration and the motivation and. and, and I think she. It, it's it's fair that you are searching a bit in that area. It's fair that you you, you need to to feel and see. Hey, well, what is what is giving me the right kind of motivation, the right kind of feeling that I need uh, for the past period of my career? And I think that's what she's been doing. And uh, also with injuries, you know, trying to handle you know serious injuries at the same time, it, it's tricky. You can, one thing is for sure, like Carolina, she, she knows what she has to do. We will see in the individual tournaments where she has to perform in you know, one, two, three, four uh, matches in a row. Uh, if she's able to keep up the, the level for, for many matches in a row and many tournaments in a row, because she will need that for the for the, the weeks and tournaments to come. I really hope, I know, I think she's a, also a really a, an exciting player to, to still have in the, in the top of the women's singles. So I hope that she's going to be there, but I also think it will, it will be, she will be tested in, in the tournament to come. Talking about being tested, Kunlavut Vititsan has had a challenging time since the injury layoff. The world champion did not make it past the second round in the two tournaments he participated in this year, but still remains optimistic when we spoke to him about his Paris aspirations. Let's hear more from Thailand's number one. Oh, now have the pressure in the every tournament now and uh, every player now very very good performance and uh, I think now very difficult to play with the top player now and uh, I need to I need to, to learn with the top player. I think not play too much but concentrate about the when I play. Be the top player. How to, how to have the plan. How to, the not good now. Have, have to change the, the performance and the, need to try the other performance because the Olympic game very pressure for the everyone and the, I need to change the performance for play the, in Olympic game. I think the, the, the pressure in the court and the how to how to control the, the, the about the mindset and the mentality in the game and the, yeah in world champion have to I need to try everything in the court and the, yeah just work. I think I think for me it's a step by step first and the, because the. This one is the, the biggest in the badminton, right? And uh, for me, I need to. This is my dream, and uh, I need to try my best for the Olympic Games. For the for me, is the, the first time. I hopefully to to get a medal, and uh, this one is uh, my dream. For me, when I was young, this is my dream, and uh, I need to try everything for get uh, this medal. Kunlapud Vititsan sits 8th in the race to Paris standings, dropping a spot to HS Pranoy. Anders Antonsen, meanwhile, continues his fine form in 2024, now in 3rd after the European Team Championships, where Denmark once again showcased their dominance. Hanya moves her spot up to 7th in the women's single standings. Aya Ohori and Supanida Karatong also jumping a spot up to 12th and 15th, respectively. Kang and Seo find themselves at the top of the men's double standings after the Badminton Asia Team Championship, while her and Ren, as well as Koga and Saito, continue their chase for spots. 
No movement in the women's doubles top 10 standings, but the Japanese are showing their depth with Iwanaga and Nakanishi as well as Miyaro and Sakura Moto making moves to 11th and 12th respectively. And finally, no changes at all in the mixed double standings with Zheng Siwei and Huang Yacheng still standing firm at the top of the table. Let's turn our focus now to the Yonex German Open. Looking at the men's singles draw, there are a few French youngsters who, before the show, you said we should be keeping our eyes on. But who specifically stands out the most to you? Well, I know them very well and I have been following them for some, some years uh, as a national coach and also now from the outside the past years. And um, I, I have no, for me, they are extremely talented group of uh, the two pop-ups, Arno Merkle, Alexander Lanier. And, and these these players are the most promising, some of the most promising uh, young European players. And they are already producing good results on, on European level. I think Alexander Lanier and uh, uh, Anna Merkley, they are coming a little bit more from behind, still gaining experience on the highest level, but they have peaked forward already inside the last uh, half a year. And we have the pop-ups, uh, of course they have done great for and amazing for, for some time now, being part of the world circuit. But uh, they are also, they have been playing so many tournaments. They are, they have to perform again and again and again. They are playing team events as well. They are, uh, we saw uh, Christo uh, struggling against uh, playing the team match final in the European leg against uh, Rasmus Gemke. And they have to be careful because I know that they, of course, they are looking to perform at home uh, at the Olympics and they really have to be careful towards uh, taking care of their body and uh, and not running out of, uh, of energy. They are hugely talented, they have amazing belief, amazing attitude, actually all uh, uh, the pop-ups and also the other young guys, you know, now it's only the pop-ups towards the Olympics, so, so um, I, I, I have no doubt they have the possibility, but I would also be careful and protect them a bit uh, so they, they have the motivation and energy in the right place uh, when they get closer. Now, in the women's singles category, Thailand's Ponpawi Cho Chuwang aims to make a deep run as she vies for a country's second spot. With Supanita leading and Busanan close behind, do you believe she's the best choice for Thailand's second position if she's fully fit? Yes, maybe I, that's my feeling. But, but, but I'm also really impressed about the Thai uh, lady singles and the level and the depth they have in the, in the group of, uh, of players. You know, it's, it's really about for her to build up the belief that she can actually do and much better. And she actually have that extra bit of, of belief and uh, of course also level. She's, her, her basic level, her stability is, is, quite, uh, is on a very, very high level, but we still need to see if she can pull out that extra. I think she's a big favorite in the game. Uh, Ivan is a, is, a, is a really good fighter, also on, on European scale. She's at home. She will try to, to make a surprise, no doubt about that. But looking at the match as, as a whole, um, I think probably should should be able to, to win that quite safely and, and, and move on. Well, I think you've set it up all very nicely for us, Peter. Thank you so much for joining us again on the show. And we hope to see you again real soon. It's a big pleasure. See you next time. <laughs> now, mark your calendars for the start of the European leg, the Yonex German Open, happening from the 27th of February all the way to the 3rd of March. Like always, if you're on the go, you can always stay up to date on the BWF app, Badminton for you, for all the latest news, match updates and highlights. Who are you looking forward to seeing in Germany? Let us know on our YouTube and Facebook pages along with your thoughts and comments. Until next week, everyone, take care and bye-bye.